everyone, it's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan. Today's video is going to be all about smoothies and smoothie bowls, everyone. It is middle of summer, it is very hot, so I think it's the perfect time to make some beautiful smoothie bowls and smoothies. Today's video is very kindly sponsored by iHerb, who are very kindly providing me with many ingredients to add into our smoothies and smoothie bowls. If you guys have not heard of iHerb, they're basically an online store that sells tons of natural items. They've got beauty products, they've got groceries, they've got supplements. It is an awesome website. I have been shopping there personally for years. I've been a customer for years, so I'm very excited to be working with them again in this video. So I'm going to be showing you guys two smoothie bowl recipes. I'm going to give you some ideas on what to put into a smoothie bowl and also what to put on top of a smoothie bowl. And I'm also going to be showing you guys one smoothie recipe. So I made sure that the smoothies are packed of nutrients and that we would actually be full from eating these smoothie bowls, okay? I need to make sure that there is protein in there. I need to make sure that there is enough nutrients to last me at least a few hours. You know what I'm saying? In order to help me do that, of course, I added some protein. I added some vegan protein. iHerb sent me this beautiful special box full of vegan protein. So I'm going to be unboxing this right now. All right, guys, let's open up this special box of the new Salgar Spoonfuls Vegan Protein. So this new plant harvested protein shake is full of tons of vital nutrients, and the shakes contain fruits, veggies, digestive enzymes, essential vitamins, and so many good things to provide additional support for your health. So they're all vegan, all gluten-free, dairy-free, and wheat-free. The flavors are all really yummy. They've got three different flavors. They've got vanilla chai, chocolate coconut, and mixed berry. I personally like to have my protein in a smoothie or a smoothie bowl, but these actually taste good enough to simply just shake with some water or some non-dairy milk. So if you want to have a quick nutritional shake throughout the day, then that's an option for you guys. But I'm going to show you guys how to incorporate these protein shakes into smoothie bowls and a smoothie. So if you guys are interested in getting your hands on any of these, then definitely check out the links down below. Of course, check out iHerb and let's get on with the recipes. So the first smoothie bowl we're going to be making is a tropical berry smoothie bowl. Does that not look delicious? Look at all that berry action. It's going to be awesome. So the first thing we're going to do is take some frozen bananas. We're going to add them into a food processor along with some pineapple, some frozen strawberries, and also some frozen blueberries. Now I'm just adding a splash of almond milk and then we're going to blend everything in a food processor. Now for some reason, food processors do a really, really good job at making smoothie bowls or banana ice cream, any sort of frozen fruit concoction. It blends things so well and makes it super creamy. So I would highly recommend using a food processor for this. You do not need a high speed blender. You don't even need a super expensive food processor, but use a food processor. And now we're adding some of this mixed berry protein shake in there and that's going to really accentuate that berry flavor and also add some additional nutrients and protein. And I'm just adding another little splash of almond milk and we're going to blend that again and there is that creamy, look at that guys, look at that. Oh my gosh, seriously, it's like ice cream. It's like berry ice cream. It's so good. So now we are going to rise and shine. Yes, okay. And we're going to add that into a nice bowl. And then we can start adding some of our delicious toppings. So the first thing I'm adding are some strawberries. These are just some sliced strawberries. Now remember guys, you can add whatever toppings you want, okay? So now we're adding Bob's Red Mill Classic Granola. I got this from iHerb. And we're just going to add that. And that's going to give your smoothie bowl a nice crunch. You know, I just love different textures. So that's why I'm adding that. And we're also adding some fresh blueberries as well. Next, we're going to add some toasted coconut chips. Once again, I got this from iHerb, and oh my gosh, these are so yummy. So, so good. And then we're going to add some more coconut. We've got flaked coconut from Bob's Red Mill, which I got from iHerb once again, and we're just going to top the smoothie bowl with some of that. I'm just sprinkling it everywhere. And I wanted to add another delicious element to the smoothie bowl. So I'm adding some of this Maranatha raw almond butter that I got from iHerb. And of course, this is going to add some additional healthy fats and protein into that smoothie bowl. And there you have it, guys. There is your beautiful, delicious, and super nutritious smoothie bowl number one, tropical berry style.
Next, I'm gonna call this the chocolate coconut smoothie bowl. I know it's not the most unique name, but it's probably the most accurate. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is take some mama chia chia seeds from iHerb and soak them in some water. Now the reason why I wanna soak them is because they will become gelatinous in texture and I believe they will become easier to digest that way. You could just blend them into your smoothie as well, but I wanted to add mine as a topping. So we're gonna let that sit for a few minutes while we make the smoothie bowl. Once again, I've got that handy dandy food processor and some frozen banana. We're going to add in some frozen blueberries and a splash of almond milk. Then we're going to blend in that food processor and look at that creaminess, that creamy action that's happening already. And this time we're going to throw in our Salgar Chocolate Coconut Vegan Protein Shake and that's going to give it that beautiful chocolatey flavor. It's so rich and it's so good. I was really, really pleasantly surprised. It tasted so good. So we're going to blend that up again. And look at that beautiful chocolatey color, guys. Oh my god, so good. It's like having chocolate ice cream or like a cold chocolate pudding for breakfast. I mean, seriously, who does not want chocolate ice cream for breakfast? <laughs> so the toppings I'm going to add are some sliced bananas. Next, I'm going to add some of this Love Crunch chocolate and red berry granola, which I got from iHerb once again, and this is super delicious. The perfect topping for this smoothie bowl. And once again, we're going to add some sliced strawberries. And remember those chia seeds that we soaked earlier? Well, look at that. So they've become a very different consistency. And I'm going to add that as a topping. We're going to add some of those flaked coconuts or coconut flakes once again. Kind of adding them everywhere a little bit. I'm also adding just a few little blueberries. And we're taking some Maranatha organic peanut butter that I got from iHerb. We're going to take a spoonful of that, again, for some additional healthy fats and protein. And there you have a delicious chocolate coconut smoothie bowl. Oh my gosh, does that look so yummy? And last, I'm going to show you guys a really simple and easy vegan protein smoothie. So I'm adding some almond milk into a blender along with the vanilla chai vegan protein shake. And we're going to add about a teaspoon of those chia seeds you saw earlier. And we're going to add a little bit of water and some frozen bananas, of course. And we're also adding a spoonful of almond butter in there as well. Oh my gosh, so yummy. And that's pretty much it. We're going to close that up and we're going to blend, 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 blend. So there is the vanilla chai vegan protein smoothie. I love the vanilla chai flavor. It might be my favorite, although I really like the chocolate coconut as well. And the mixed berry is really good too. So I'm not sure, but yeah, they're all really yummy. So definitely check them out. Alright you guys, that brings us to the end of the video. Did you guys enjoy the smoothie bowls? Did you enjoy the smoothie? Let me know down below your thoughts. I am sweating under these lights. I could definitely use one of those smoothie bowls. I hope you guys enjoyed the smoothie bowl recipes. If you did, don't forget to give this a thumbs up. I know I'm not the most aesthetically pleasing food stylist. I'm not a food stylist at all, but you know what? The smoothies, they taste good and they're healthy. So that's what matters to me. <laughs> and if you're new to this channel, of course, don't forget to subscribe. And I would like to thank iHerb for sponsoring this video. And if you guys are interested in any of the products mentioned, they will be listed down below. Definitely check out the links below. You can get yourself also a little discount if you are a first time customer. So don't forget to check that out. Like I said, I have been using iHerb for many many years as a customer even before I started YouTube so I really really enjoy using the website so I think you guys will as well so thank you to iHeart for sponsoring this video and thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye